This job can make a guy humble. My 99-year-old patient was suffering from uh, developing blisters, also called vesicles, all over her lower legs, along with intense itching, redness, swelling, and drainage. After discontinuing every unnecessary medication, I treated the possible allergic reaction with a non-sedating antihistamine and steroids. When she didn't get better, I reviewed blisters and once again realized how many causes there are for blisters on the skin. Let's start with the viral infection herpes simplex type 1, also called fever blisters or cold sores. These large blisters cluster around the face and lips and commonly pop up when the immune system is weakened by a cold. A very similar viral blister or vesicular condition is called herpes simplex type 2, but this one is sexually transmitted. These blisters happen in the genitalia of men and women and reoccur in a similar mysterious way as the sister condition called the cold sore. Anti-herpes medicines do help both conditions. Another blister condition, herpes zoster or chickenpox, also a viral infection and a cousin to herpes simplex, presents like a teardrop on a rose petal or a small vesicle on a red base. Once established, zoster can set up shop in the nerve and raise its ugly head many years later along the distribution of that nerve with a condition called shingles. It's fortunate that vaccination for the young or those over 60 prevents or reduces the severity of this often miserable condition. Blisters, blisters happen also from contact dermatitis when, for example, an allergy to nickel or poison ivy or antibiotic ointment develops and that trigger comes in contact to skin. We also see blisters pop up when unprotected hands are traumatized by raking the yard, burned by grabbing a hot pot handle, or frostbitten on a ice fishing expedition. A life-threatening blister condition may also occur when a person has an allergic reaction to some medicine or even an infection and blisters start spreading over extensive amounts of skin and into mucous membranes. Stopping this culprit medicine or providing urgent medical uh, measures, an antibiotic, whatever, can save a life. My patient didn't fit any of these scenarios, however. I realized two other mysterious blistering conditions called pemphigoid and pemphigus might explain this, so I made the brilliant diagnostic move to consult an expert. He biopsied the rash, nailed the diagnosis of pemphigoid, treated with clear, uh, and tr cleared the blisters with just the right medicine, and my patient had relief. The more I learn, the more I am humbled. <laughs>